Hello, everybody. Welcome back for some more of uh, Earthbound, where we last left off. We were in the freaking inn slash hotel, and let's get going. Mole! Mole playing rough. Oops. There we go. Might as well use the stag beetle. Oh wow, it's dead already. Well, stag beetle, you are still in the party. You are a mascot for now. Those things are weak. Oh, it's Mr. Army Guy. Don't talk about it. Too loud. What do you want? I got what you need. A zip gun. Oh, that sounds nice. A bottle of rockets, rust promoter, a bomb. Oh man, all this stuff looks good. Zip gun though sounds much good. I think I'm gonna buy a rocket. Who's gonna lug this around? Our good friend Jeff. No. Be all good luck, buddy. I always imagine that guy with Mr. T's voice. And Ness has sunstroke. What towel? It's great for those times that you get sunstroke. There we go. Monkey! Welcome. Our paradise is beneath that hole. Talarami is great and kind. And he knows everything. Talarami does. He must have some underground rooms. Okay, we'll go check that out. Nice music. <laughs> Mushroom. Talyram is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He's also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly. Please do not bother him. Okay then. Got a few monsters down here for some reason. The music was cool though. Butterfly! Now it's time to comb the desert. Oh my god! I thought that was I thought that was bones. S what? S Skeleton? That stupid skeleton. Bye, stag beetle. You will always be remembered in art. Wow. It was that weak. Well, I feel bad for Mr. Stag Beetle. No, oh, well. At least we know the enemies here are. What the fuck is that? Crescent Buka. That thing is ugly. No. This one isn't too strong. And it gives a nice amount of experience points. Okay, nobody's gotten a sunstroke yet. You can tell when someone gets strung stroked if they, uh, the screen start flashing red or something. Ooh, double burger. Mmm. Mmm. Double burger. You get the reference, I am proud of you, and you are as big a nerd as I am, and I love you for it. 90 HP. 100% beef. Delicious. Oh, UFO. Haven't seen you guys in a while, and somebody's flashing red. Cute little UFO. Damn it, you guys both have sunstroke. Oh, that's just great. Use some defense spray. Ooh! Oh. That's just great. Ah. 
Ow. Great. Fight it off, guys. Oh, good. Oh, good. Good riddance. Now this sunstroke's gonna be the end of me. Oh. Hamburger! Mmm, hope it's a delicious Whopper. Let Paul eat it. Protein's good for you. Okay, where's that other wet towel? Give it to our good friend Jeff. Now we can use he has healing alpha ness. Hey random people. We sleep in the desert so we are often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? I'm not staring at your tan lines. Screw you, lady! Hope you get freaking bit by scorpions and crap. Present! Yay! I can always use more cup of life noodles. I really like the music for this area, though. There's actually a secret item I'm pretty sure you can find in the desert. Not attacked by skeletons all the time. Oh god. Ah, great. Stupid skeleton. Die. I don't think I have any anti venoms, too. Unless, uh, let's see. Oh, good. It cures poisoning, too. Good. I sucked if I stayed poisoned all freaking forever. Oh, it's a sign. I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the Dusty Dunes Desert. Oh, okay, Dusty Dunes Desert. Not quite the Sahara Desert, but oh well. You got a mental for my grandma, so it's very important to me. You find them, bring them to me, and I'll give you a reward. I am. Pentelia Giovanni. Four side bakery, second floor. Oh, something shiny! Alright, we found it. That was easy. And we get attacked by this thing again. Come on, Paul, you can do better than that. Oh, that guy hits hard. That's not good. Alright, it's dead, though. Alright, level up. Come on, defense. Give me some defense. Oh. Alright, four. Oh, what you learn? PSI shield. Um. That letter. Symbol. Thingy. Homesick! Ah, damn it! Out of all times! I think that's Zeta. I'm. Uh, Epsilon. Shield Epsilon. I'm not sure. Let's take one second. Shield blocks PSI attacks. Easy to do for shield will cancel those effects. Yeah, this one alpha only covers for one person. <sighs> Epsilon can only co can cover everybody. Double burger, yum. Save those for later and avoid everything. No, go away, dog. What the hell is that? Desert Wolf. Oh, great. You know, I'm going to start wasting some PSI on these guys. And burninating these guys. Let's 
Swoosh. Eight. At least it does some damage to the wolf. Ah. Great. Oh, that's just perfect game. This freaking dog is a jerk. Or at least he's dead. Please kill it, Ness. I'm begging. <sighs> Please die. Thank God. <sighs> that was annoying. At least we get a level up, and not much of a level up, but at least we <clears throat> at least we learned Paralysis Omega. That'll probably be helpful in the future. There we go. Hypnosis Omega puts all enemies to sleep and forces all enemies to into numb the condition. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe we should start eating some food. Okay, we'll give that to freaking Jeff. What else can we eat? Give that to Ness. And last one, I'm gonna give another calorie stick to Paula. Oh, good, another present. Ooh, par PSI caramel. Yum. Oh, butterfly! He pledges 20 psychic points. Come here, come here, come here! No! No! Damn it, you thing! Oh god. That could have almost been very bad. I just healed, you jerk. Oh no, Jeff! You got sunstroke again? The desert is not very forgiving. Uh, here we go. Hang in there, Jeff. <sighs> okay. I really need that butterfly now. Go away from us. Go away. Butterfly, get back here. I need you. I hate butterflies. Oh, wait. Is there something in the bones? Even though I'm just a pile of bones, I can talk and I'm lonely out here in the desert. That's sad. Butterfly! Forget it! Shark! You're gonna he hold on to that sunstroke. Dusty Dune Headquarters for finding buried treasure. Let's get in the shade. No! Yes! Alright, let's call home. Huh. Irony, okay. Well, at least... At least I got over that. Thank you, I could use a rest. It's been a long trip in the dirt. In the freaking Sahara Desert, it has been. I appreciate it. Thank you, my friend. At least we can heal up for free here and not like the other place that costs a lot of money. This hole is great. Good hole, good hole, good hole. First, someone asked me to dig a hole for buried gold, and I think I was being obligated to find it. Sure. Let's see, what can we give you to eat? How about a nice tasty croissant? 
Oh, thank you. You're most kind. I like how there's a sign that says desert. I really do. Unfortunately, there's not going to be much down here until I guess later. Well, we gave that guy some food. And he said he's going to give us something nice in return. Oh, God. East to Foresight. Well, we gotta walk all the way to Foresight. Water! Oasis. Oh, if you're on this freaking freeway, you don't get sunstroke, which is nice to know. Who are these guys? I'm Big Brother Poncho. I'm Creep Brother Pincho. I'm Toughest Jefferson. Okay! We found my uncle, my not uncle, and Thomas Jefferson. I am a broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friend are very true to you. And they will make you happy. Sure, why not? Just a buck. Yeah, those guys are slot machines, and I'm pretty sure they give you something. You mean there's no problem here? There's a sign. I think there's supposed to be a present here somewhere. Or not. Let's just get out of the freaking heat wave. I know for a fact there should be a present somewhere. Oh. Oh, yeah, I remember now. If you make it all the way over to the guy, give him the croissant, all the traffic should be done for. You know, I'm gonna go get some money, um, and stuff, and buy that zip gun for Jeff. He can use it. Let's talk to dear old dad. Okay, Jeff's near his level up. Record our data in case if something bad happens and I can't use my save states. Or vice versa. Okay. See, how much the zip gun costs again? Okay. You know, I'll buy another bo bottle. Give it to Jeff. It's nice to have extra rocket bottles. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Stupid mole. Okay, good. Got rid of the stupid freaking mole. Get out of the sun, get out of the sun, thank you. Okay, let's go get 500 bucks, because that's pretty much what we need for the freaking guy. Withdrawal. Still is over 9,000! Yeah. I feel like buying a bomb, too. I love explosives. I'm pretty sure we can't sell the gun we already have. Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, we can't sell the Magnum Air Gun now. Oh, well, hurry up! Oh, oh, it goes the wrong way. Oh, oh Nasspa! 
We were only in the freaking sun for a second. And you got sun burnt. Come on, sunstroke, whatever. Guys, come on, get me a throw me a bone here. I know the sun. Ugh. I know the sun is evil. I don't like the heat either, but still, come on. Guys, don't get sunstruck that easily. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your six bucks. Just get, a has get out of the desert, man. I'm gonna eat breakfast. Our nice bowl of cinnamon toast crunch that I'm gonna eat while I ride the bus. side. Also a stage featured in Melee. Oh god. Damn it, blue lady. Ugh, extra cranky lady. Great. Man, she's ugly. Are you dead? No, of course not. Ah, that hurt. Bitch, you need to die for that. Thank you. Good thwack in the head with a baseball to cheer her up. Or make her extra dead or something. There should be some presents lying around. And we avoid the crazy psychopathic biatch. Hello. In the old days, Mr. Monotoli was just a regular, unattractive <laughs> real estate agent. Okay. Now he's turned to the. Now he has the power to control the police force. I don't think the city of Forsyth is better than before. Hey, it's a bakery. First floor of Forsyth Bakery, second floor. Second floor of the bakery. Couldn't be any more specific, could you, game? Red in the town has a very plain, nondescriptive flavor to it. <laughs> wow, that sucks. Hey, it's Mr. T. I was thinking that there was a tight. I was thinking there's a tight wad born every minute. Okay. What? You came to deliver my grandma's memento, the contact lenses? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use. Only for special occasions. I wore these socks just five years ago. There's no holes in it. There's only been worn once since the last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Yeah, we got a pair of dirty socks. Yeah. I know, right? What the fuck? Pair of dirty socks. When used during battle, the enemy gets so nauseous from the ripe odor, they cannot fight. Gone after one use. Surprise, we're not nauseous. Yeah, that's the item you get for throwing, finding those contact lenses. Dirty socks. I know, it's kind of a ripoff. Hello, Mr. Old Man. Tom came the owner. This department store began to have strange happenings. Hmm. Then investigate that in a minute. Police man. Protect Mr. Malinali first, the safety of the citizens comes second. What a douche. I'm pretty sure there should be some presents around here. I'm not 100% sure. But we do have to go into the department store in a little bit. Yep. 
They can pay off a million dollar debt easily. I know. I go to Japan too. I'm just hoping they steadily recover. Venus, huh? Bonkers for her? Okay. And there's a museum. You can go check out the museum in a little bit. Or on the next episode, because we're running out of time. Well, I'm not really running out of time. I just want to stop the video. Come here, butterfly! You better not lead me to another trap. Butterfly! Haha! <laughs> Where's the hospital? Oh god. That enemy. Let's run away. I could have sworn there's some stuff you can get here. No one knows anything. Montana has totally stole everything from me, including my house, my land. There are evil incarnate, lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Mountain Only. They're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. <laughs> I'm not nosy. Just wanted some information, guy. Oh god, not another one of those ladies. Those ladies hit hard. There's the cafe. Okay, that douchebag made to order. Ugh. No, I'm just not gonna talk to you again. Okay, buzz. Okay. Okay, this place is creepy. Very creepy vibe. Might be something of importance from that place. Oh, uh, yeah. And here's the hint, guy. If we ever need a hint. But that's gonna be enough for this episode. Man, a 30 minute episode. It's been pretty long, but for my viewers, for my viewers, of course, they get the best that I can give them. But, no, until next time, another exciting installment of Earthbound. We shall, if I get to the freaking place first, though, go to the department store. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.